Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break of 2022-23 Panini Donners Optic Basketball. Six box, pick your team number one. All card ship. We know what the drill is with this stuff by now. And from a fresh case. But first, big thanks to this group for making it happen here on Wednesday the 12th, hump day. Second half, already in the store right now if you're watching live. So if you want to get your teams before someone else does, make it happen. Melissa with Last Spot Mojo with the Sixers. 70% of the time. Last ball mojo hits 100% of the time. Voice a little weak today, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, still kind of recovering from the dry temperatures of, of my little mini vacay last week in Vegas. And I guess that and smoky casinos and A lot, of, a lot of debating with my cousins, drinking a lot of booze, kind of caught up with me, I think. <clears throat> Physically, I feel fine. The voice is a little, a little weak today, so you have to forgive me in advance for that. All right, it's one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll use this for pick your team two, which again is on the website right now. This kind of look like Z's, but you get the idea. Might be able to run this back tonight. All right, let's get on with it. On card rated rookie signatures, a lot of fun parallels to chase in here. All in all, I think a very solid break and a pretty popular product from year to year. Rex was saying earlier, Dodgers got Tyson Miller? I have no idea who that is from the Brewers. How do we feel about it? No idea who that is. But knowing the Dodgers, they, they don't get players just to get players. They're a very methodical group, front office. They they are very deliberate in what they do. A little, I mean, I guess all GMs are deliberate in what they do, but they seem to make more correct decisions than not correct decisions. So I'm sure there's a reason why they uh, got him. And uh, yeah, like Oliver said, they'll probably turn it into an, into an all-star by next year. It is, yeah, I think I'm with Frank. They're, they're, they're calling it a cheeseburger, but it's not a cheese. There's no burger element to it. It's a cheese sandwich. <laughs> yeah, 20 slices of cheese? Who's going to... I mean, I, I don't, I'm not terribly familiar with uh, Thai food culture. I do eat Thai food. That's some nice uh, pad Thai in Vegas over the weekend. But anyway, I, I, I don't know if, is that what the people want? Well, they're calling it the wrong thing. I refuse to call it a burger. It's a cheese sandwich. 20 slices, what kind of cheese? Like American cheese? Cheddar cheese? I feel like, I don't know if I could do, if I could do like a, an American cheese, 20 slices. We'll do a, Top bottom randomizers for that. Looks like American cheese. That's that's too much American cheese. Your Nikola Jovic to 149 for the heat, Kevin. If it was like cheddar cheese, I feel like I can do a decent amount of cheddar cheese. American cheese is Is American cheese cheese? There's Luka Doncic, lime green, to 149. 
Homer Simpson spent a whole night at his kitchen table in his underwear eating 64 slices of American cheese. He would enjoy it. Homer Simpson would enjoy it. I'm sure the Simpsons might have even predicted that to happen in, in maybe 12 seasons ago. <laughs> Rex says, I love grilled cheese, but I don't like cheese that isn't melted in some fashion. No one, I've said this before, I'll say it again. No one is going to mistake Rex for a foodie. That's a 79, Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh, Paolo Bancaro, the rookies, and a Vince Williams Jr. hollow. Our first Bancaro, first of many, I hope, for Nathan, who won that team in the team giveaway pack break. DeAndre Hunter to 199. And Ty Ty Washington is your rated rookie autograph. John Jackson. With the Rockets. Won the Rockets in a uh, in that giveaway break. Tyrese Maxey to 149. Lime Green for the Sixers. And that's our first box. Next box. We got a little Summer League action on the background. Toronto, Detroit. Toronto up by three. 85 82. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. <clears throat> That Grady Dick kid is looking pretty good for Toronto. I actually saw him play a little bit in a, in a summer league game last Friday. I mean, this is with the caveat that this is only summer league, right? So he's playing against other summer leaguers, but. I mean, someone to keep an eye on might be uh, when next year's, when 2023-24 products start to come out. Some names to look out for. Speaking of the Simpsons, how many of those do you believe are fairly accurate? I want to say uh, accurate as in, are they real or is it rigged? I mean, considering you, you know, the Simpsons episodes are all <clears throat> widely available, easy to fact check. But I, I, I gotta say, uh, the ones that are at least popular have to be real. Otherwise, they would they if it. Could have been debunked. I guess just a quick scroll through any of the YouTube comments will be like, no nah, man, this is fake. You know, or or whatever. I mean the ones you can should believe are the ones that actually show you the episode or the season and episode so you can fact check it. But <clears throat> I don't know. There's a lot of smart writers in that room. They've done a zillion seasons. There's probably far more that they would never get right. You know what I mean? There's Giannis on Tacombo 99. But, I mean, is that... It's not crazy. Trump had run for office before, had, had made uh, overtures about running for office before. Now you put two and two together and sometimes you hit on some stuff. There's Scotty Pippen Jr. to 79.
And I think these are short prints right here. There's Gary Trent Jr. for Toronto. Alan Murdoch. Chet Holmgren, the rookies. There's Aaron Gordon to 99 to no, check that to 39. And that'll be for Tristan. New Futurama. We didn't need. We don't need new Futurama episodes. Is it all the original writers? There's a shy Agbaji. Did they get the Bender voice back? It's for the Jazz. That's going to be for David. Oh, that was our second. I was like, did we get two hours out of the box? No, that's our second box. There's the Anthony Melton with the basketball emoji print in the background. All the original writers. That's, I mean, that's good, I guess. Wish they would have just left it alone. If they're so smart, can't they come up with a new show? Not that smart, I guess. That's true. It's, I mean, if this is my rant against, there, there's nothing original anymore. There should be more original things. But the, the nostalgia machine is powerful. And, you know, most, the masses just want the familiar things. Change is bad. New things are bad. I don't want to consume new things. Like seriously, come up with something else. <laughs> Simpsons is great. I mean, Simpsons, I guess, is just a money machine now. But, but like, listen, you don't think former, uh, you don't think former Simpsons writers or Futurama writers can get together and come up with something new? Andrew, what's up? Not to my knowledge, on that Crown Royale. But I don't do the buying here. So who knows? We get we get shipments in every other day with some new stuff. So you never know when that's going to pop back onto the website, which is why everyone should look at the website every minute of every day, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Don't miss out. I'm surprised at when things arrive. I do what you do. I check the website when I wake up. Keep refreshing throughout the day. There's Grant Williams. What's on the site? What's new? Ooh. This is nice. Jalen Green for the Rockets. He's pretty good. Dominator's autograph going to John in Houston. $47.99. Yeah, so, so does everyone else. Andrew, the Kabooms are, so, are super popular, which sometimes makes getting stuff like Crown Royale back, just to peel back the curtain a little bit, sometimes makes it difficult for us to find. Sometimes we ask our distributors and they're like, we, don't, we just don't have any more. Seth Curry to 49. Or they'll be like, yeah, we have it, but 
you know, we'll sell it to you for, I don't know, 40% more or something like that. We're like, all right, man, that's, it's nice, but it's a little much on the price point. We'll wait until it, we'll wait until maybe we get a better offer on it. So we'll pass on that, you know, a lot, a lot of things that can happen. Availability, sometimes the price point isn't, isn't right. SJ Ivy rated rookie here. It's Josh Hart to 199. Some Keegan Murray. And some Musa Diabate to 199. They did do disenchantment, right? How did how did that do? Probably not so well. Herbert Jones and Andrew Wiggins. All right, next one. Is that the one set in like medieval times, Rex, or something like that? All right, next box. Second half in the store. It's a pick your team, so no filler yet. Pick your team before someone else does. If you're like, man, I was waiting on this team. Now's the time to get that team. Jan, what's up? You have an app called The Sport. And you're looking at an article. If stars from other sports played football like Otani as QB. Not really about sport, is it? It's about fantasy. You have the you have the what if app, the speculation app. You don't need an app for that. We can do that here, Jan. You don't even have to download anything else. I can do that for you. That's a common that's a common one, Jan. Especially with soccer, it's like, oh, what if America's best athletes, what if our best American athletes played soccer instead of their respective sports? What would LeBron be like as a uh, as a goalkeeper? You know, what would uh, what would Odell Beckham Jr. look like as a striker? Been there, done that. Rotten Tomatoes gave us 65%. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. I mean, The Simpsons, Futurama, Family Guy, all have a, such a certain character base and a, a formula, in a sense. It's hard to really match those. I, mean, I know there's a certain animation style for it, but I think people would have rather seen something a little a little different. If you want that Simpsons aesthetic, you can watch Simpsons or Futurama. It's Jalen Brunson to 199. I don't know. If it was like the same creative crew, but try to do something different with the animation, push the envelope a little bit, but Disenchantment, at least from the trailer, I, I should give it a shot, but, but to me, it just essentially looked like the same animation that you know, that I find in Simpsons and Futurama, and I was just like, but just a different time period, and that's it. Probably the same, similar jokes, because they are the same writers. Lori Markin will go to David H., and this Jaden Hardy rookie auto will go to Dallas. That's going to be for Adam.
Right. Yeah, it's tricky, right? Yeah. Once, once you're once you're making good money writing for a show that will never be canceled, like The Simpsons, it's hard to break out to do something else. Unless you truly have a vision, I suppose. Zach Levine, 48 out of 79. Bulls, Allen. This guy got a nice little contract with the Pistons. There's another Jaden Ivey. Pistons could be the next team that could be surprisingly ahead of schedule. That would be pretty cool to see. There's Andrew Nemhart. Pacers are another one of those teams too, 31 out of 99. Also the animated series I feel like is, let's see if I think I've got Jeremy Sohan for the Spurs, that'll be for James. It's pretty good too. I wonder if like the animated space is hard too. It's traditionally been, traditionally been a difficult space. There's not too many networks that are willing to do that. At least sort of network television kind of animated shows. Now there are plenty of kind of exciting adult swim shows that are out there. But in terms of a, that's more cable, right? It's more edgier stuff. You know, an audience that's more willing to consume more challenging animation and narrative structures. But for network television, I mean, essentially you're trying to make a, a sitcom with cartoons and cater to a broad audience, and that's, that's difficult. I'm wondering how good or bad movies and shows will be 10 years from after AI gets per perfected. I don't know if I ever want AI to get perfected. You know, AI, uh, Rex, is only as good as the information we feed it. So that means we would be perfected if AI was to be perfected, right? Right, the, yeah, anime, those mainstream anime shows don't make, don't make much money either. So, I mean, Simpsons is kind of like SNL, you know. It'll just kind of, it can just live on in perpetuity. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's, uh, I don't think AI will be perfected because it's only as good as the humans that feed it information. Why am I pulling only color? I'm setting those aside so those can get sleeved. Slightly more important cards. Everything else, all cards ship though in this break. Yeah, I mean, it could gather on its own, but there's a limitation to AI. Because again, it'll be only be whatever information it could gather, false or not, true or not. I don't know. For now, anyway, at least in our lifetimes, I believe AI is probably not going to. I don't think it's going to be. It's kind of like when they computer generate a character, right? In a a computer generated face in a movie with live action characters, you can always tell there's a word, there's a phrase for it where there's like something just feels off no matter how good it is. It's Moses Moody for the Warriors. I think that's going to happen with like with AI generated like content. Nice Jalen Williams, that's Santa Clara Jalen Williams. Ready to rookie auto 4? Okay, going to the Thunder. 
27 out of 49. If we had a certain level, do you think it's possible to get nuclear codes? No. It cannot. Jamal Murray to 49. I was listening to a uh, like an NPR interview or something like that with one of the the godfathers of AI, and like those doomsday scenarios that people are like the Terminator <laughs> scenarios are most likely not going to happen. I think like the first sort of wave is just going to be people trying to wrap their heads around how to how to differentiate between what's a real AI, which what what is real and what's not, what's AI generated in terms of images, uh, text content. You know, when video content gets to that point as well, all that sort of stuff. So, in terms of managing information, I think that's going to be the huge initial challenge before we get to the next sort of disruption, which would be um, it's more uh, computer programmers. You know, AI is gonna make coding so much easier, so, so there won't be armies of people into armies of people like coding for things. A lot of that's gonna be so, like, so streamlined. So you're gonna lose jobs in one sense, you're going to get efficiencies and other things. It's like robots in factories building cars. It's like the same sort of thing. Yeah, he did quit because he was scared of what he created. I think the biggest fear is the... Um, well, that guy at Google, Google was uh, going for a military contract using their AI stuff. That's one of the reasons why he quit because the Google never um, actually threw their hat into the ring for that. But the main fear, I think, is how it can be purposed militarily. The concern being with the right AI, you know, I mean, the idea is you don't put human lives at risk, right? Which is, that's on the surface, a great thing. But the consequences of that is potentially for bad actors in global politics, the barrier of entry to war is a lot less, uh, is easier. What's the size of North Korea's military, right? But what if they built an AI army of robot soldiers? Boy, they're, they're, they're buried entry just to put those guys into action. There's a lot less. I mean, this, is, this won't be really a thing for another 50, 60 years, but that's like the path that you're going down. But, yeah, the, the replication of, of like... You know, like I don't know, like clear bank accounts and stuff. I mean, that's not the real. That's not the real worry. That's going to be fine. You know, it's no different from a telephone scammer. It's just that it's automated now. <laughs> so you'd have to be pretty, pretty lax in your own personal cybersecurity if you're going to get duped into. Although. I mean, older people, it's happening already. Yeah, like Ping is saying there's some already automated, lead, automated AI voice generated calls that are happening, but that's not, it's not it's small potatoes compared to what the pen, potential of this could be. A lot of good can happen out of this. So can a lot of bad. It's just another, another technology related issue that we have to go in. 
This is what happened when the printing press happened. There are a lot of concerns when the printing press came about, when radio came about, when TV came about, when the internet came about. We just have, we just have to be smarter about how, how we use it. 71 out of 99, Andre Drummond. That's going to go to the Bulls. Think about the 90s and what the fears of the internet was. <laughs> it will seem ridiculous now, but... But there were genuine fears. There's Kenyon Martin Jr. to 199. And that, my friends, is that. All right, let's do a randomizer for this. This is also a wax party break, so let's do that. Nothing too crazy here, guys. So I feel like the second half, I like the Jalen Williams. Okay, that was strong. I like the Jalen Green, you know, but I feel like there could be some really good potential for some monsters in that second half. All right, so now let's do the, uh, let's do it all in one dice roll. So one dice roll for top bottom on those cards. And then we got a wax party stuff. Uh, I don't think it's that different. I'm, we're talking about jumps in technology, Jen. We're gonna broaden out the the the. We're, we're looking at more of a top level view. And Gutenberg didn't create the printing press just to get around the church. I think it's more of because the technology was available. He was an inventor. want to pro promote knowledge, but not directly get around the church, but just bring more power to the people. Let's roll it, randomize it, three and a two, five times. So top, bottom, one, two, three, four, and five. So the top cards will get those. And Three and a two, five times for the wax party invite. So good luck with that. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, name on top is going to be, well, first of all, the sad name is going to be Adam. Appreciate you trying. Appreciate you getting in. There will be some other opportunities. Keep trying. JaspiesCaseRace.com. Congrats to you, though. Jay Goins. There you go, Jay. After five times, your name's on top. You got a wax party invite. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Let's get into break two. Bye-bye.